Bang, bang. So <laughs> dramatic, yeah. It's a slow death. <laughs> Today we're here at Ties.com and we're talking with Omar Saeed and we're going to talk about bringing your pets to work. Welcome. Thank you so much. Nice having so you. So I noticed you have a lot of dogs here. When I met you the first time you talked about, oh we have all these dogs here and it's super awesome. Tell me about like some of the benefits of having dogs at work. There's an inherent advantage to having dogs here. It relaxes people. Um, my daughter relaxes me just petting the animals. You don't have to hire cleaners anymore. Yeah, they that's right. They everything. just pick up everything. Yeah. <laughs> Save money. There's some general ground rules. They're not allowed in the warehouse section. The dog has to be uh, potty trained. They're um, not allowed to um, bark too much. So um, within reasonable confines, we do right. confine them to certain parameters. Some things I noticed that you do that are really cool, you definitely have ways to make sure the dogs don't run outdoors, so safety for the dogs. You have people that have dog treats there. I think yeah. that's awesome because yeah. people will have little jars of candy or something that's not dog friendly, right. but everybody here is so used to having dogs around that they know to have dog treats around. All the ties. Yes. Oh. You work here and you actually don't have a dog. I don't, no. And how does that work in for you? Like, is it a, a plus for you then to have the dogs here or is it tough? It's, it's great. It's a nice little like break from working also. You have to be like a doggy aunt or uncle. Exactly. Play with them, teach them bad habits, get rid of them. Yeah, and once they do something wrong, you call the owner and then you walk somebody away. Somebody else deal with uh, this. <laughs> the, the child is crying. Could yeah. somebody take care of the You the hand it off. Here. There you go. Yeah. Dogs get in the way a lot of getting stuff done. It's funny, so you know exactly where um, every team member is by where their dog is standing. Because <laughs> there's no sort of it's shadows like, there. Oh, somebody's in the bathroom. That's right, yeah, that's right. She's very territorial. That's what I hear. She kind of lunges at the dog. She never okay. really, she never bites a right. dog, but she's she... just saying back off. When another dog's coming up and you know this behavior is about to happen, redirect it, interrupt it, and redirect it. Oh my goodness, where am I? Now they're all gonna come running and, and face me like, yay, yeah. See, so for that, I would just <laughs> ignore go. that. And then I would ignore it and maybe she's, even just redirect it. She's like, it. these treats are all mine. So now we've got this. Let's see more, get over there. And then I might get you over here. What's over here? Go get it over there. So now everybody's out of the situation. Can you sit? That's a good sit. And then I might give a good treat like that, like a big one. And then I might have these guys over here, but a little farther away, and work on sits. And now she's yeah. going like, oh, I have all these dogs around, and I've got a treat, and I don't care. Now I'm watching her, kind of notices them, and then I'm gonna go, everybody go away. We just had an interaction where normally she would have all these dogs around and she was growling at them, but she was not growling at them. And so having the dogs around was a positive thing for her. And if you practice that several times a day, pretty soon she won't care about it anymore. She'll be like, oh, when the dogs come up, I'm gonna just... Yeah, that makes sense. Take a thing. That's cool. how I would do that. Right, see, I don't care about those dogs being around anymore. All I care about yes. is the treats. The biggest thing that she's a little bit nervous. Yeah. That's what I noticed. She gets really nervous around people. So you want to find that level where she's still willing to work for treats and still willing to do all these things and then practice that. I'm a little bit too scary. So what you might do is take some treats and ask her to come to you and sit with me just standing here. Sit down. Sit. Good dog. Good girl. Yeah. And so then what you can do is have people that she would normally be nervous about a little bit closer and a little bit closer. So call her again and have her sit again. Yeah. Sit down. Good girl. And good sit. Sit. Yes, that's better. So now having you closer gives her a little more confidence. Okay. And if you practice this over and over, what'll happen is she'll learn like, see, she's already warming up pretty, pretty quickly. <laughs> the treats help a lot. Um, and so again, we're using positive reinforcement. We're okay. not gonna force her to be around things she doesn't like. We're gonna change how she feels about being around people. Okay. Even this will be good, right? Because okay. then she learns, oh, every time, every time a guy comes to deliver a package, and that doorbell rings means I'm getting treats. Oh, okay. I love it when people come around. I wish more people would come around. <laughs> come get it. That's it. Come get it. Oh, that was loud. <laughs> come here. So that was too close, right? So that was a perfect example of being too close. So the treat was not good and as good as being that close to me was bad. She's okay with me being this close. Sit. Good dog. That's about arm's length is what she's good with right now. Okay. So I would just practice that over and over and over. Try not to make her come closer because what happened? It was too much. She, yeah. she barked and she backed off. Now, what can happen is though, arm's length, and all of a sudden I gave the last treats and I'm like, I don't have any more treats. Make sure she has a way to get away. Because okay. if she doesn't, then she'd be like, ooh, 
person with a treat at arm's length is cool, person without a treat at arm's length, not so cool. And then you could get that. So another good thing to do is when you get to your last treat, throw it over there. And then she's far away. And she's comfortable. And she can choose to come back if she wants to. <sighs> yeah, okay. That's is that the equivalent of uh, doing? Yeah, of doing that. Doing this. Yeah, but it's yeah. But this is cooler. This is cool. All right, fair enough. It's a lot cooler. Okay. <laughs>